that's one of the big myths that needs to be obliterated is that this dog is bred to fight. That's, it can't happen. It's a crapshoot. You hope it happens. And the same goes for dogs who are bred to sniff out bombs at the airport. You hope the dog can do it when you test them to do this. So again, it always comes back to the environment and the human and the dog's history. That's what you really want to know about. So people have to stop thinking that you know, all pit bulls are going to be you know, aggressive to dogs. That's a total lie. So nobody can tell you that, well, we bred this dog based on genetics, it's going to fight. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's why Michael Vick was killing a lot of dogs. When you take two dogs and you put them in a 16 by 16 box and you set them on each other, they're either going to fight or they're not. The dogs that don't fight don't get used for it. The dogs that do, do. Okay? When dogs are free to move and they have space, they typically don't fight. They have what is known as ritualized aggression, and they might fight. I'm not saying that dogs don't fight each other, but when dogs have space to move, they do a lot of protracted warning signs before that happens. Dogs don't want to fight. It makes them vulnerable, okay? So they'll do lots of you know, protracted warnings, growling, ah, they'll do all that stuff. So there is no such thing as, okay, these dogs are bred to fight. No, you're breeding them because you're going to fight them, and you're the fighter. The dog is not. Okay, 